What's up everyone, Kelvin here, and I wanted to go over one of my stream matches from NCR11. Keep in mind that Ricky and I have been playing cross Tekken against each other before this event, which made this fight even more intense than usual. Now let's get started. Ricky loves his standing medium kick with Rufus. It is Rufus's best mid-screen poke. You can hit confirm into Crouching Fierce to launch for damage, some meter, and momentum. I miss my Doria as due to nerves, but that should never be a valid excuse and I hope to do better in my next tournament. Normally, my Kazuya will approach with lights and finish up the string with electric. Kazuya's jab medium punch string is very useful for lockdowns. Grounded electric combos should include at least 4 electrics and maximum 5. Light kick rising sun is negative 1 on block. It's useful for blowing up people pressing buttons and crouch taking since I'm in the air for a brief moment. Now I almost have 2 bars with Yoshi. This is exactly where you want to be after the first round. I figured that Ricky will try to out footsie me, so I decided to take the risk and do a raw windmill. Since the move acts like Seth Tandon Engine in AE, I was able to pull him in and tag in Kazuya for massive damage. After Ricky escaped my pressure, we get back into spacing each other out and waiting for one of us to make a mistake. I found Standing Fierce to be very effective mid-range poke with Kazuya. You can option select with the Electric. If the Electric hits, it converts into massive damage, but if blocked, it's only negative 1, so there isn't much risk for doing so. I use EX Electric to go through Rufus' Standing Medium Kick. EX Electric got buffed and travels a great distance and is still plus 1 on block. And Ricky with maximum damage punish with the EX Messiah tagging into Chun. Ricky's in a good position now by cornering Kazuya with Chun. Notice how after Ricky knocked me down, he backdashed and dashed up instead of jumping in for corner mix-ups or cross-ups. This was done to make sure I won't escape the corner with roll. Please remember, footsies over vortex. Yeah, he has a great sense of mid-range, spacing, timing, and chun lets you do that. EX Electric to close in the gap and punch the fireball. Unfortunately, I dropped my combo. Background as is a very effective but super unsafe overhead. Please make sure to use sparingly. As I jumped in, Ricky used Chun's fast walk speed to get under Kazuya and punish my jump in with crouching light kick, converting into a full blown combo due to trip guard. This is one of the best ways to punish predictable jump ins for cross Tekken. Great raw launch after crouching jab by Ricky. How did he know it was going to hit? Because he's Ricky Ortiz. I decided to Pandora after getting up from my knockdown to punish any sort of meaty that Ricky was going to throw out. In this case, he decided to EX Messiah, which caused us to trade. I decided to EX Shoryu, and Rufus got hit trying to jump out of the situation. And game one goes to me. I mean, maybe he could have did another Messiah, but he could have he could have counter Pandora activated. That's true. And if he would have did that, he would have won because he would have been the second to activate. Right. Once again, first round is always the scariest for Yoshi. Versus before, where you were dead in the water. Yeah, it's not as bad as it was before. I'm not jumping first with Yoshi. Ricky failed to convert from standing medium kick, which is pretty rare for him. Rufus' jump medium kick has a great hitbox for cross-ups. Unfortunately, Ricky thought I was going to block it and went for a tick grab. With Yoshi's meter gem activated, I decided to jump away from the pressure and proceed to build more meter. Ricky slowly pushes me to the corner. He hits me with a jump forward roundhouse with great reaction, followed by fierce into snake strike, tag into Chun, but drops the follow-up combo. I was just looking for a way out of the corner. As I rolled out, I had one bar to make something happen. Now I'm looking for a moment to raw tag out, since Ricky didn't have a bar to punish my raw tag is too hard. Smart play by Ricky, tagging straight back into Chun to keep the crouching light kick pressure, since the electrics are not invincible against crouching lows. Great footsies from Ricky, but he failed to convert into a full combo, resulting in a maximum punish from my Kazuya. The extra electric after the combo doesn't hit, but I do it for spacing and meter building before the opponent gets up. Ricky drops the combo, and I woke up with EX Slaughterhook. The overhead version is no longer invincible, but the other two still are. I tagged into Yoshi, but failed to finish my combo. Oh, 
Standing medium kick hits, and Ricky is doing a great job to keep Chun out and Rufus in. I realized that there wasn't enough time to make a comeback, so I decided to do a bunch of electrics to build meter and get myself ready for the next round. That's really smart play, understanding that he wasn't going to get the kill, but he can, he can set himself up for a better situation. I decided to poke around with Yoshi's crush medium punch and got a hit. Windmill tag into Kazuya for tons of damage, but dropped the combo anyways. Ricky punished my standing fierce with the standing medium kick into chain. Now I'm in the corner with Chun pressuring me down. Great walk back to standing medium punch for safe pokes from Ricky. I held my button for too long, causing Ricky to punish and push me back into the corner. Notice that Ricky didn't do his usual AE corner setup. That's because he doesn't want the pressure to stop because of me rolling away. Ricky got the hit confirmed and converted into full combo again. With two damage gems, it made Yoshi's health disappear much quicker than it usually would. I got desperate at this point and threw out a windmill, hoping Chun would get caught by it, but got punished instead with a double fierce in the face. Game 2 for Ricky. Fortunately, my windmill traded, which gave Yoshi a chance to live and make something happen. Also, Yoshi's close standing medium punch makes for a great frame trap because it's plus 2 on block. Didn't get so lucky this time around and got fierce in the face into full combo, followed up by empty jump to grab because Ricky knew I was too scared to press any buttons at this point. Ricky finally goes for the corner setup. I block Rufus' cross up, which allowed me to escape from the corner of death. I wanted to tag in Kazuya for the matchup reasons. I decided to throw out a random windmill, hoping that Rufus would get caught by it. Jab medium chain comes into play with the counter hit setup, followed by electric for maximum damage, but I decided to drop my combo instead. By now, Ricky won't let me jump in at all, using Rufus' crouching medium punch as an anti-air. With the normal and got punished by Rufus' standing medium kick, Ricky with that reaction. Ricky with the solid punish, putting me in the corner again. Since Yoshi was low on health, I decided to alpha counter and raw tag into Kazuya. Please be aware that every character's alpha counter has different properties. He gets the chain anyways and tags right back into Chun, followed up by relentless pressure. Ricky dashes back and tries to base something, but I decided to wait it out. Yoshi's jumping light game makes him float ever so slightly and has a great hitbox. After my follow up, I ended the pressure with heavy purple breath. Yoshi's overhead hits and Kazuya tags in to finish the combo. I decided to do a demon god fist, but Ricky ended up doing Hasanshu to get away. I have never seen Ricky do Hasanshu on wake up before, so it was a brilliant move on his part. Quickly taking out Yoshi with one bar, since I found Kazuya vs Rufus matchup to be slightly easier. Ricky playing patiently, waiting for me to make a mistake. I landed a jumping roundhouse, which is one of the best jump ins, and proceeded to do a follow up. EX Messiah tag into Chun's empty jump into crouching light kick was one of the best mix ups that Ricky could have done at the moment. That was just one of the many ways Chun would approach Kazuya. I didn't want to deal with Chun's multiple hitting air normals and decided to alpha counter. Even though it missed, since my alpha counter is so good, it wasn't much of a problem. As my corner pressure continues, Ricky decided to alpha counter my normal, which I happened to cancel into electric. Having one bar to spend, I decided to do crutching fierce into EX Demon Godfist and then backdash cancel out of it, followed up by medium kick overhead while I was in counter hit state. Since Shun got hit while she was crouching, it caused an automatic ground bounce, allowing me to follow up with more electrics. Ricky missing the tag. 
I decided to walk back and take a moment to see what Ricky was doing. It was apparent that he wanted to do a boost chain starting with medium attack. So I decided to throw out EX Team and got this to absorb the first hit since it has one hit armor, but got a clean hit anyways. What? That was crazy. That was supposed to be an EX uppercut and he got the EX other other punch and it, and it paid off somehow. It still paid off somehow. Yeah. Another windmill winding up, but got punished hard by jumping heavy, which then converted into EX Galactic Tornado. Even though this move was nerfed over the patch, it still has its uses. I got Yoshi's crouching medium punch to windmill, but didn't have a bar to spend to tag in Kazuya. Since the windmill is negative one on hit, I decided to teleport away. Raw windmill tagged into Kazuya since I wanted to change the matchup around. There's that standing medium kick again, but he failed to chain into it. I chained and finished the combo with Yoshi's finisher. I decided to do light purple breath so I can block whatever Ricky was going to throw out on his wake up due to shorter recovery time. Nice. Alpha counter can be your best friend at the right moment. Wow, and that stand fear is so hard to punish. Oh, nice on Ricky with that counter hit low short. Getting this damage. And Kelvin has to play it cool. Oh, nice tap. Yeah, good defense there. Oh, that jump. I blocked the chain attempt oh, from Chun and went for a full punish. No, Still didn't get the whole combo though. Kelvin is so... Oh my god, Ricky has nothing wow. good with that. Ricky decided to go with Sending Fierce into Super to get that damage while being able to raw tag Chun in. I took a risk by doing a raw tag because I saw that Ricky didn't have any meter for further damage. My original plan was to Pandora and do entire electric as soon as Rufus gets to the other side, but I failed to do so and Ricky takes the win. It would have been much better for me to dash under Rufus's jump in and use the meter for Yoshi's mix up, but Ricky played very well, took the win, and advanced to winner's top 8. I learned that even though I can take off half life in one combo with Kazuya, it is simply not enough to win a high level tournament match. You must be able to handle the pressure and nerves at any given moment in order to play your full potential. I hope you guys enjoyed this match analysis from NCR 11's Cross Tekken Tournament. Please let me know if you have any further questions about the game. Keep playing Cross Tekken and make sure to tell your friends. Doria!